Hello, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I will teach you one of my favorite stitches, which is, can you guess which one? So I'm gonna teach you how to make the puff stitch. Puff stitch, it's a very popular stitch in the crochet community. It's very popular and very versatile because um, it has the same texture from one side or the other. There's no side wrong or side right. So yeah, it looks pretty much the same on both sides and I really like this one because it's versatility and also because last summer I was working in one beautiful project. I haven't finished it yet, but I will show you like how is it going so far. Ooh, I had to move some stuff over there to finally find it. And this is it. So you might see a rainbow here, but this project, it's more than a rainbow because um, because what I'm actually trying to do with this rainbow is to get a pattern from this bucket hat that I have here, which I love a lot. So as you can see the composition of this hat, it's like a semicircle here well, two semicircles joined by one strip like this and so this is what I'm trying to make of course in crochet and so I was thinking uh, what could be like in semicircle so and then I asked myself huh? and then I asked myself like what could it be like a semicircle looking shape and then I find out that a rainbow it's in semicircle shape so yeah so this is it i specifically choose this puff stitch because i like the texture it is very rigid and this will give like a strong or stiff uh, composition to the hat which is a piece that you usually want to stay like in one place which is your head so this is why I'm gonna teach you how to make the puff stitch. So this puff stitch has the characteristic that like there are like five or seven or more repetitions of half double crochet stitch but join at the bottom and on top. That's why you see like a lot of a lot of uh, half double crochets going on in, in every stitch. And yeah, so this is one of my favorite stitches and I'm gonna teach you how to make one of this, the puff stitch. And then later on when I finish the pattern, I can teach you how to make the pattern. But meanwhile, let's go with how to make one puff stitch. Okay, we are back with another stitch. This one is known as the puff stitch. And you can see some uh, bubbles in here and the texture it's very prominent on the touch and also on the side you can see here that these are just single crochet and these are super flat and then if we like try to move it just to see how it's looking you can see a lot of puff stitches like that are very prominent and I really like this one texture here, so I'm gonna teach you how to make one puff stitch from scratch. These are single crochet stitches, then one row of this puff stitch, and then I work one row of single crochet. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make this puff stitch. So I'm gonna start this round with one double crochet stitch. As I will normally do here at the beginning okay and now let's do one puff stitch so basically a puff stitch is a group of three or more half double crochet stitches joined at both top and bottom so here we go you're gonna yarn over your hook and then insert your hook in the next stitch or wherever you're going to do your puff stitch now you're gonna yarn over and bring the loop through like this and then you will have three loops in your hook this is like the basic motion for doing a half double crochet stitch but not quite yet so we're going to repeat this motion uh, until you have 11 loops in your hook so now you have one two three and then you're gonna 
yarn over again and insert your hook in the same stitch and then pull the loop through like this and then you're going to repeat this motion three more times and so I Let's count how many loops I have in my stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? And now you're gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. Like this. It can be a little bit hard. So take your time. Like this and adjust and voila and now you're just going to close this puff stitch by making one uh, chain like this okay and then i'm gonna do one double crochet in the next stitch and work another puff stitch okay now look at the movement that i'm doing with my fingers so look at the motion yarn over insert the hook pull and yarn and then i'm gonna repeat this four more times so this is time one this is time two three four and five five times okay then I'm gonna yarn over and go through all of the loops that I have in my hook at once. Okay? And then I'm gonna close this by making one chain like this. And again, I'm gonna do one double crochet stitch in the next one. And again. Let's repeat again. So this is motion one, two, three, four, and five times. Okay? And as you can see, this hole here, of course, it gets bigger as you make more loops in your hook. And it, this is totally normal. So you're gonna pull yarn through all of the loops that you have in your hook. In, uh, you're going to adjust and make a chain in the air and work one, how and work one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so I will say that my advice for making one of these puff stitches is that from the beginning you pull the loop like to make it larger a little bit larger than what you will normally make it because um, the more loops you have it is it becomes like a little bit rigid and it's harder to pull and pull more so right now even though I would like to pull like and have like larger loops it is impossible because I already have a lot so it's becoming harder okay so in this way like the loops that you have at the very beginning are not like so so tiny so it is easier to slip the hook through when you are going to pull all the loops at once like this and it's okay if you if you do it like if you do it slowly I, it's okay and okay let's do that one more time so time one two three four and five times okay as you can see as i mentioned before like i'm always trying to pull the loop so my loops are not like decreasing in size so it's easier for me to go through all of them at once 
because I have noticed that if I don't do this, then, for example, here, I just do it like I will normally do a half double crochet stitch and the length of my loops will be like this. So if I continue like this, it's going to be maybe a little bit harder for me to pull through all my loops in the hook at once. But of course you have to try yourself and like you have to and then you have to work in your own technique. So for me, this technique is the one that works the best. And I'm almost at the end of my row. So this is the last puff stitch that I'm going to do. Okay, and now I'm going to work my last stitch, which is going to be a double crochet. And where am I at the end of this row? And as you can see, now I have two rows of this puff stitch. And if I turn my work, you will notice that it's basically the same texture from one side or the other. So. I really like this one stitch here because it's versatility, although it can be a little bit heavy because you have a lot of yarn here uh, for forming this puff stitch and yeah, so this is it. And then we're going to continue with a row of single crochet. So you're going to work one single crochet in every stitch. So it's very important that you know how many stitches you had originally. So in my case, I have 15 stitches in total. So I'm gonna work one stitch in here and the next one that I'm gonna work is going to be in the double crochet stitch and then um, again in the puff stitch and in the double crochet and then puff stitch and so on. It's very straightforward, you should already know how to make one single crochet, but if you are unsure, please visit my video where I explain step by step how to make one single crochet stitch. So just like this. I'm about to make the very last single crochet stitch of this row and this is it so this is how your work shall be looking right now I really love the texture and the versatility of this stitch is that it has the same texture from one side or the other. So, so this is very useful for pieces that requires of having the same view from one side or the other. How do you like it? Let me know in the comments and I will see you next. Bye bye! So I hope that this video is useful to you and that you have finally learned how to make one puff stitch and that you feel inspired to keep learning more stitches. Later on you can jump and learn like some variations of this puff stitch. I mean all of this has like different name but once you know like the, like, the foundations of this kind of stitch you might be able to work like other kind of stitches so for example this one it's a popcorn stitch and as you can see it's a, like a very like prominent texture if you can like if i move it like this you will notice that there are like balls going on here and you know it's very to me it's very beautiful this is not finished yet so Pat and i still working on and well the fitting the fitting is something that i'm working on 
but I don't even want to wear it like it's pretty she's pretty but I think um, yeah like <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I need to to improve in this specific design so stay tuned because this is coming up soon I hope so and then we also have this other one I don't remember the name of this stitch but it is very similar to the pop stitch that you just um, learned and so this is going to be a funny bag so I only have one panel I still have to make the other panel so I think this is going to be very um, suitable very you know summer friendly so you can also expect this to come anytime soon because this is something that I shall be working on in this um, next upcoming days and weeks so yeah this is it this is not a puff stitch I will put here which kind of stitch this is but again like learning the puff stitch which is to me it is like a, one of the basic stitches from crochet other than single crochet half double crochet and double crochet learning and knowing how to make a puff stitch later on you will be also able to work like tons of other stitches that has like you know this kind of the similar pattern so this is one of it and this one it's another stitches that you can work later on once you know how to make one puff stitch so yeah thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next bye bye